Joining us live is Liberal Senator Sarah Henderson, who represents the Geelong region. Sarah Henderson, what's the reaction been to these new restrictions in your area? Well, Annalise, uh, good morning. And I must say, I haven't been out and about in the community because I'm actually in 14 days isolation after coming into contact with uh, a COVID positive person. So uh, I'm in uh, lockdown myself, but I think there is some relief in the Geelong region because we have had a reasonably high number of cases and also in Colac, where we've had that very serious situation with the Colac abattoir. And that was exacerbated by the fact that very unfortunately, Annalise, the uh, public health team um, from Victoria did not really respond quickly enough. And I think that had a, a very serious impact in the Colac community. But I know there are varying views across regional Victoria. Other parts of regional Victoria are very exasperated by uh, these latest restrictions. But regrettably, uh, we obviously believe this is necessary given the very serious situation now right across Victoria. I'm sorry to hear you're in the two weeks lockdown. I know that's not easy. Do you know where you came into contact with a COVID case? I do. I do, Annalise. Yes, I do. So I've been working with the Department of Health and Human Services in relation to the things I have to do. Uh, as we know, there has been a, a very major issue with contact tracing in Victoria, particularly when you look at how successful it has been in New South Wales. And I've experienced that myself. I actually had a a message yesterday saying, please have a test today, but they got the date wrong. And so even at a very basic level, it seems that there are still some real struggles with their, their Victoria's IT systems. Uh, perhaps they're overwhelmed, but they obviously cannot manage the number of people that they're having to deal with at the moment. Did you come into contact when you went up to Colac last week? Talking about the circumstances, other than I have come into contact with a COVID positive person. I'm in isolation, doing all the right things. Uh, and of course, that's a strong message. Uh, if you are positive or if you have come into contact with a COVID positive person, you must self-isolate for 14 days. And that means not leaving your house whatsoever, not for any reason, except of course, under medical supervision. So it is incredibly important that everyone do the right thing. I heard on radio this morning, a mother saying that her son was an apprentice on a building site in Melbourne and no one was social distancing. Uh, no one on that workplace was taking it seriously. And that's obviously very alarming. And we're still seeing very, very high numbers, very high rates of community transmission in Melbourne. Uh, of course, uh, the evidence suggests that it all goes back to the terrible scandal with the breakdown in hotel quarantine. And I'm sure we will hear more about that in the coming days when the hotel quarantine inquiry begins tomorrow. But needless to say, we, we now have a very serious situation in Victoria and we all have to work together uh, as a community to get over this uh, second wave. Uh, sorry, I'm just a bit curious about why you don't want to share the circumstances in which you came in contact with someone with COVID-19. Because it's a private matter and I'm protecting the, the privacy of the person who has been um, found to be positive, Annalise. OK, it's just uh, it's interesting to know. There's a lot of uh, discussion around how you effectively trace it. You've just brought up that there has been some issues with that contact tracing. Were you alerted to this connection through the COVID Safe app? Um, look, I became aware of uh, the positive case and um, as a result, I went straight into quarantine and complying with all requirements by the Department of Health and Human Services. But as I mentioned, uh, there were some IT glitches in my case and I think there is widespread concern that the contact tracing, and we know that there are hundreds and hundreds of mystery cases where the Victorian Department simply cannot determine how someone uh, became either positive or, or came into contact with someone else who was positive. So there's a lot of concern about contact tracing. And I think that's one of the reasons, obviously, why we have stepped in as we have as a Commonwealth government working with the Victorian government, including, of course, deploying some 1,400 ADF personnel, including uh, in a local aged care home in Geelong. So uh, basically, we're taking the view, uh, working with Victoria and Elise, whatever it takes, we are here with all Victorians to get us through this very, very difficult period. Uh, sorry, just to clarify, do you have the COVID Safe app on your phone? Of 
course. <laughs> I downloaded it within about half an hour of it becoming available. Good to know. And just finally, this is a really important time for Geelong in particular. We've had some commentary from Nationals MP saying that these restrictions on regional parts of Victoria are unfair compared to the rest of the state when it's really Melbourne that needs to be in lockdown. Do you share that view? Do you share that criticism? Well, there are different challenges in different parts of regional Victoria. So in southwest Victoria and the Geelong and Colac region, we have more of a problem. But I really do understand why other parts of regional Victoria, which have not been impacted, I feel very frustrated. Of course, we don't have the same lockdown measures as Melbourne. Uh, we are moving to stage three restrictions, as you mentioned, on Wednesday at midnight. And there will be four reasons uh, by which people can actually leave their home. And we're still waiting, of course, to hear what the restrictions will be in relation to work and businesses. And we expect more details today, but no doubt. Um, and Elise, this is a very tough time and everyone has just got to work together. Look after our mental health. That is really important. Uh, we've put a lot of resources into mental health support. Uh, including into telehealth, but we've just got to be kind to one another, look after one another and just get through this as best we can. And all I can say to finish off, uh, for all of those people in regional Victoria, buy Australian, buy from your local business and that will help get us through. It is such a tough time. You're absolutely right. Our thoughts are with you. How many more days do you have in isolation if you don't have a positive test? Well, I'm due to have a, another test on Wednesday and uh, hopefully all being well. I feel 100% I'll come out of uh, self-isolation uh, next weekend.